Hi, welcome to the fifth and final blog in the series of blogs relating to the stack and tilt swing pattern. During these videos we've looked at the fundamentals of stack and tilt along with key aspects of the stack and tilt swing pattern. What we'd like to do today is take a closer look at how to implement changes into your swing when out on the driving range by the use of drills and exercises to increase your awareness, your understanding and your ability to swing within the stack and tilt pattern. Two of the most important aspects of the stack and tilt swing pattern are making a centered turn and moving the hips in a lateral manner or towards the target more in the early part of the downswing. In order to isolate the feelings required for these two aspects, what we suggest you do is use the following drill. Take your golfing posture, you don't need a club for this exercise, let your arms hang out in front of you and we're going to isolate the movements of the spine first during the backswing. Well, in order to make a centered turn, the spine must do the following three moves. It must extend or elongate, it must tilt to the left, and it must rotate. Each one of these moves, when carried out in sequence, allows you to arrive in a centered backswing position. Failure to do any one of these three moves will limit your ability to stay centered during the backswing. So just run that through one more time. Stand up, tilt left, make a turn. In order to isolate the lateral movement of the hips, simply stand with your arms hanging by your side and then nice and smooth move the left hip further to the left without allowing the upper centre to move forward. So we don't want this occurring here. It's going to cause low weak shots to the right when both centers move forward so we're going to get the lower body moving forward without the upper body moving backwards that's going to isolate the lateral movement in the hips required to make the correct downswing another super exercise for creating a centered backswing is to make some swings Initially just make practice swings but then develop it and start to hit shots using it and that is to make some swings with your left eye shut. One of the key aspects is obviously to make a centered turn. Any movement to the right will cause the ball to go out of your vision when your left eye is shut. So shutting the left eye, one of the tasks then as a golfer is to keep the golf ball in the center of your vision. In order to do that, there mustn't be any lateral movement or movement away from the target during the backswing. So a great little exercise to use when you're out in the driving range. Uh, you can use that in between shots or part of your pre-shot routine when you're out on the course also. Make some swings with your left eye shut, trying to keep the ball in the centre of your vision and that's going to discourage you to move off the golf ball in the backswing. I think if you can develop that you'll have a pleasant surprise at how well you can actually hit the golf ball whilst using that drill. One of the things we're trying to encourage players to do is swing more in a circle. In particular with driver we find that players want to swing too much in a straight line either going back or coming down. What we've done here is something that you can set up on the range We'll take a bottle of water, ideally about half full, just so there's enough weight in the bottom to keep the bottle standing, but it won't damage your golf club if you make contact with it. You place the bottle approximately 18 inches to the right of the golf ball you're hitting, and the inside edge of the bottle needs to be around about level with the toe end of your golf club when you're setting up to the golf ball. What this now does is gives us some great feedback if we take the club back outside the line, or if we bring the club down outside the line. So what this is doing is merely giving us some feedback and also encouraging us to trace this circle that's laid down on the mat during the early part of the backswing. If we can get that golf club started off working in that circle, we stand a much better chance of keeping it working on that circle, i.e. coming from the inside during the downswing.
Another great way of, of learning how to swing properly within a circle is when you're practicing out on the range to take a couple of tee pegs with you and during the golf swing what we're going to try and do is hit some shots with the tees beneath the arms. So these tees should be placed just under the armpit where the arms connect to the chest. One of the key aspects of any swing is that the body and the arms stay connected. If either tee peg comes out during the back swing or during the down swing or through swing, then we have come off the circle that we're trying to swing upon. So with placing the tee pegs beneath the arms, what that's going to encourage is a much more compact, much more rounded golf swing, both sides of the golf ball. So the idea is to keep the upper arms connected to the chest until the completion of the stroke. This next drill is particularly apparent when you look at players who slice the ball with driver. What we tend to see is through the hitting area, we see the arms dividing or the left arm bending. And as a result, the club working up very quickly and coming across the golf ball. So that player is lacking extension through the hitting area. To try and create a feel for that, try and isolate the feel, what we need is a heavier object. You can use a medicine ball, you can use a dumbbell, uh, you can use a basket full of balls on the driving range. And the idea is to hang that heavier object out in front of you like so. And imagine that you were going to throw it over a fence that's about 10 paces in front of you and about 10 feet high. Instinctively, you'd want to work more this way. If you were tempted to do this, the heavy object will come in towards you and you run the risk of that ending up on your chest or in your face. So what this exercise is designed to do is create a better extension through the hitting area, which as a result allows you to continue to hit out at the golf ball more on the way through, which is essential for hitting a draw. This next drill is a superb ball striking drill that allows the player to feel all key aspects of the stack and tilt swing pattern whilst hitting a golf ball. What you're going to do is take your normal address position for an 8 or a 7 iron and then from that position you're going to straighten your, light, your right leg and place 75 or even 80% of your weight on your left. Straight away this is giving you a nice feeling of getting this right hip higher in the backswing, allowing you to stay centred. It's positioning your upper centre in front of the golf ball, which is essential if we're going to continue to hit out at the golf ball in the downswing. It's preventing you from moving off the ball on the way back, and also preventing you from moving off the ball or moving away from the target in the downswing. So all round superb drill. Right leg straight, more weight on the left than would be normal and then from there you're going to swing back to about chest height through to chest height and as you do that you want to try and focus on keeping both arms straight so again right leg straight weight favoring the left maybe 75 80 percent keep it there throughout the stroke chest height to chest height focusing on keeping the arms extended, both arms straight, so we get that nice movement forward with the hips and also the extension through the hitting area, enabling us to continue hitting out at the golf ball. Superb all-round drill. If you can get that just that drill into your practice sessions, you're going to see a massive improvement. One of the key issues I've come across, particularly in coaching the better players, is the sequencing of moves during the downswing because it is very different to what would normally be taught. Normally we'd be teaching people to clear the hips quickly with a generation of golfers out there who've been brought up watching Tiger Woods with this very quick clearing of the hips. Unfortunately that's not the best way to do it. He makes it work but it isn't the best way of starting the downswing. So a good way to isolate the moves is, as we were doing before, slow everything down, set yourself up, 
swing to the top of the backswing and then slowly work your way through the downswing gaining a better feel and understanding of what is required from a centered position at the top the first move is a lateral movement with a hitch you can see the left knee working out towards the left ankle from here now the arms will start to move away from the right shoulder at the same rate that the hips are moving forward the left knee now is out in front of the left ankle and as we approach impact the lead leg should begin to straighten as the butt starts to tuck beneath the torso both legs straightening we're going to use the ground to push up creating extra power into a finish where the lower center is out in front of the upper center so if you're confused about the sequence of moves in your downswing, swing to the top and stop, and then work down slowly. Hips forward, rather than rotating hips forward first. Now they start to rotate more as the lead leg straightens and the backside tucks beneath the upper body into the finish. So there you have some nice drills to use when out on the range in relation to the stack and tilt swing pattern. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching these blogs as much as, much as I've enjoyed making them. Um, on reflection, I think the most important thing to take from all of this is that the way the most important thing in golf is the way the club and the ball interact at impact. What I personally like about the stack and tilt swing pattern is that everything it involves, everything that it introduces and brings into the swing has a direct effect on the interaction between the club and the ball and it does so in a positive manner uh, hopefully you can use this more uh, judging by the feedback we've had through the shop over the last three weeks uh, the response has been fantastic uh, a lot of you out there enjoying your golf much much more making much more solid contact and heaven forbid hitting a draw good luck with it and if you need to speak between now and then feel free to pop into the shop call us on the phone or visit the site www.hotwoodgolf.com dot co dot uk